You see, my name's Clyde Tenbrugenkate, by the way. I've done a number. your name again? Clyde Tenbrugenkate. I've done a number of uh, public uh, yeah. debates. Have you ever engaged a Christian presuppositionalist? I have engaged a, a presuppositionalist because I don't debate evidence with atheists. What I would say is God is a necessary precondition for intelligibility. Because you have used a number of concepts when when you discuss with Ray that I say atheism cannot account for. No, we can't. Okay, so for instance, when you no. say, when you say no. something is true and when you use logic, you're borrowing from my world. And I'll give you guys that very very simply. Logic is universal. Logic is not made of matter. Logic does not change. God is universal. God is not made of matter. God does not change. So, according to my worldview, I have a worldview that makes sense of this conversation. Yes, I know you do. But and your worldview does it. That's the nightmare. Well, the, here's the problem. That's the nightmare. When you call something a nightmare, you're appealing to a standard that you say that we deviate from. And the problem yes. is with atheism, you cannot have that standard. It's a nightmare. It's a horrible nightmare. That you're just... Uh, no, when you say something is horrible, you're appealing to a standard. Is that not fair? Uh, See, because what I'm saying is that every word out of your mouth exposes the fact that you really do know that God exists. For instance, you're a, one of but your... Do you agree with the sense God is good? Yes. Okay. Now, in order to say God is good, yes. you've already stated that good exists outside of God. No, no, no. Yes, no, yes. Okay, well, the question is then what... How, now, I'll, how I'll, I'll, I'll flesh that out. Good is according to the character and nature of God. He is good by nature. He does not say what is good, and he does not have a standard above him. What if so? Let me, give you, let, me give, no, sorry, let me give you a quick example. Why is stealing wrong, Christian? Not because it makes people mad. Stealing is wrong because God is not a thief. And I can have an absolute standard. Why is adultery wrong? Not because it destroys marriages. So you're saying that there is a standard of good beyond God? No. I'm saying that he is the standard. Then God isn't good. No, I'm saying he God is the standard God. of goodness. Well, then that, that's a tautology. That means no. Well, that's, there's not a problem with that. I'm saying that I have a standard. Yes, exactly. Okay. I know there's no okay, problem. Okay, now let's put it this way. Between the two of us, I have a standard by which I can say something is wrong. So you're Atheist. talking about moral, moral uh, relativity, is that what you're saying? I'm saying without, without God, without God, there's nothing but relativity. Well, if morality is stipulated, anybody is free to stipulate their own. So I'm saying that every, but not only that, it's worse than that, because every word out of your mouth, no, listen to this, I'm listening. every word out of your mouth assumes God, because you assume what's called induction, the principle of induction. You assume the future will be like the past, because you're about to utter sounds into the ether. Is that not fair? No, it's not fair. Okay, well, you know the problem of induction, have you ever... I do. Okay, so on what basis do you assume the future will be like the past? I think I understand your point. No, the thing is, I I've always seen you as a very reasonable person who would be willing to have a discussion like this. No, I have. And I thought that, you know, in having a discussion like this, you would want to talk about it and not... I, I think I know... Now, I, think I, 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 I don't want to be insulting I to you at all. I, I don't want to be insulting... thank you! No, no, what I'm saying is, you don't look well. Are, are you ill? I have AIDS. You have AIDS? No, I don't. No, no, I'm no, serious. Or you just have lost, lost a lot of weight. I lost a lot of weight for health reasons. Oh, okay. And so have I. Okay, that's any help. Good, good talk with you. I would, I would love to talk with you sometime. Uh, I, uh, thank you. I think I, I think I understand because, where you're Well, the problem is that you talk with a lot of people who give you crap arguments. I know. Well, we have evidence. <laughs> That we can prove. And that's why I do what I do. I have concern. That's why I quit my job. You do understand that other people feel that too. That you do not have. You, you believe. But you have the monopoly on truth, but you don't. No, no, no. But here's the problem. I can define truth. <laughs> truth is that which conforms to the mind of God. Truth right, exactly. Okay, now, however, now if you say what's truth, you would say what? You have a correspondence here. Truth, truth is that which corresponds to reality. Is that fair? No. But I have to run that. It's a pleasure talking to you.